read the question. A coin of n turns and mean cross sectional area A is rotating with uniform angular velocity omega about n axis at right angle to uniform magnetic field B. E. The induced E M F E in the coin will be. So, which you given hai hume question me a coin, just me number of turns hai n. Is the mean cross sectional area hai A or is the rotational angular velocity hai omega. Now, you have to axis ke about a uniform magnetic field B mein, right angle se rotate. So, we have to find that what is the induced EMF. Kya hoga. So, we have to find that EMF mil hai, that is due to its rotation. Ki rotation ke karen kya ho hai yaan, or change in flux. So, we have to find that we have to find flux. This answer is number of turns multiplied by the dot product of magnetic field vector and the area vector. Now, the area vector is the area ko normal, hoga, normal to the area. So, if we take a coil, the area vector will be This is area vector. And this magnetic field is perpendicular to the flux maximum. So, this is the NAB cos. Now, we can use theta ko likh sakte hum omega t. Jahan theta is the angle between area vector and the magnetic field. So, this is cos omega t. So, this is the phi is one the equation 1. Now, we have induced EMF milega, that will be agar hum iska magnitude consider kare, to this is d by dt of phi. Or if we take it directly, then this is d by dt of phi. So, we will put value put kar denge. So, this is for phi n a b cos omega t. Now, if we take it from here, cos a x ka derivative, lete hai, so this is minus a sin a x. So, this will e is equal to n a b constants hai, so this is minus n a b omega multiplied by minus sin omega t so minus multiplied by minus will be plus so e is equal to n a b omega sin omega t so correct answer is option a thank you